Now before, we talked about recovering the refrigerant so that we can change the liquid line filter dryer. And why were we changing it? Because we had a temperature difference across the, the uh, liquid line filter dryer, telling us that the dryer is clogged up and now we have flash gas coming through here. We said the refrigerant comes through, goes through the liquid line service valves, liquid line filter dryer, goes through the side glass, and here, of course, we have our wall going into the house. Here we have our ductwork and, of course, our air handling unit with a filter. So now, what are we going to do here? We're going to talk about not recovering the refrigerant. We're, not, we're going to save the refrigerant. We're not going to recover it, so what we're going to do is we're going to pump down. We're going to pump the system down. What does that mean? That means that we're going to shut off the liquid line service valve here. We're going to close that off so that there is no more flow. Once we have done that, we're going to push the contactor in. We push the contactor in, and it's going to send power through, run the compressor. Once the compressor runs, the pressure on the liquid line and the pressure on the suction line will drop. Now, for this, of course, we need to have our gauges hooked up. And we're going to see that the pressures in the gauges, they're going to drop down to zero. They're going to drop down to zero PSIG. And that's what we want. Once we see it at zero, we let go of the contactor and the pressures might go back up a little bit. If they do, you just push the contactor in again, drop them down to zero. Once they stay at zero, then we close off the suction line service valve here. Once we close that off, the system has been isolated. Now we can go ahead and remove our liquid line filter dryer, put the new one in place, pull the vacuum down to, we said, 500, microns. Once we've done that and we're holding, then we can go ahead and open up the liquid line valve, open up the suction line service valve, and we'll get the same refrigerant back into the system. So now we have not lost any refrigerant, we have saved a lot of time, and we're still reusing the same refrigerant that was in the system. The only drawback is that if the refrigerant has moisture in it, it's going to come back through, but at least the new liquid line filter dryer is going to trap it. So this is how you do a pump down procedure.